Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Shape Master. Today I'll talk about multiple playheads inside this wonderful module. This feature is not available by default in Shape Master, uh, but using a simple hack, we can make it happen. So over here I have a, a very simple shape, uh, just a minor scale. And there are three virtual playheads right now scanning through that shape, and you can see it over here. Two of them are playing at different speeds, and then much slower one is playing in reverse. And you might recognize this from my other video if, you, if you've seen it uh, in my VCV Rack Hacks series. I'm talking about aliasing trick, and one of the example in, in one of the example I used Shape Master. So it's the same thing. We are setting um, Shape Master to certain frequency, in this case it's 800, and then slightly detuned sample and hold modules. Um, and this is really wonderful if you want to have this kind of chaotic uh, effect, but uh, what if you would like to have them play at the same speed, but have a very precise control over their face? So for example, if you want to have one shape being played in Canon. Um, it's actually possible and it's not that difficult, but um, first I wanted to share with you a, a little demo so you can see if this is something interesting and, and you'll see all the possibilities of the solution. And if you're interested, then stick around later. I will explain exactly how I did that.
Alright, so we're back. Um, here's our simple test uh, sequence. And um, in order to set this up, we need any uh, sample and home module. In this case, I will use this one. It's multiple sample and home in one. So, um, in order for this phase um, trick to work, um, we're setting, just like before, we're setting this um, shape to 800 hertz. I tried different uh, values here. Sometimes 900 didn't give me uh, smooth effects. You can also experiment uh, in my, uh, you know, little testing session. 800 seemed to be the most reasonable. And we are using another channel to essentially set a clock. Again, I'm switching to frequency and I'm going to set it also to 800. So the way it will work that is that I'll go through the sample and home module that will be clocked from channel 2. So now notice that this phase controls where we are right now because we have both frequencies at 800 where our playhead is literally here unless we move it around. So now we can have, let's say, let's copy this channel to channel 3. Let's restart them. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going from, let's get some better colors here. So I'm also using this uh, original CV to second sample and hold, but it will be clocked from channel 3. And let's uh, listen to what happens. So now, right, I have precise control over where they are, but nothing really happens besides that because our virtual playheads are stopped right now. So in order to move them, it's very simple now. All we need to do is command shift and very slightly detune that. And now you can say, hey, my right channel, I will have, let's say, left, right. My left, uh, my right channel will be delayed. I can be very specific here. For example, I could set it to 180. Or 90. Right, it's a pretty nice effect. Um, and that's, that's it pretty much. Now we can just add more channels um, like this. And so in one shape master, you can have one shape being played by up to seven different virtual playheads. Obviously, you can add more shape masters if you want for unlimited, right? You can, uh, you don't even have to synchronize them. Notice that with this solution, because we all, we just want them to play, they have to play at the same time if you want to have phase control. So all of them will be set to 800 hertz, and as long as they are reset it at some point, um, they will stay in sync. So we don't even need external clock. It's really pretty nice. And uh, there's some tricks here. Oh, and by the way, before I before I forget, uh, just so you know, this works with with everything. Really, it's not just a sequencing because you might be tricked into thinking sample and hold only can do that. No, it's this. We can do anything. We can uh, we can warp. Uh, response and stuff like that. Now, there is a little trick that I use in the demo, uh, which is sometimes you might want to stop one of those voices. So let's say, you know, channel three right now is de facto my voice to, uh, number two, and so you hear it in the right channel right now. It's this one. And you might be tempted to do something like this. Yes, you stop it. But when you restart it, it won't be in the same phase anymore. So you'd have to restart it. So if you're okay with that, you know, that's totally fine. 
But another solution that seems to be more elegant is you leave them running all the time, but you simply move this amount. See, what happens right now is because we change the shape and we don't go all the way to zero, this sample and hold ignores this clock right now. Right, it's only, only high. And if you want to restart this voice, right, and it's, it comes back exactly to the same phase, so it's very handy. And another thing you might consider here is if you have a Shape Master extension, you might want to, uh, for precise control, sometimes it's very hard to get those um, tiny little differences over here. Right, and they kind of snap. But you have much more control if you go uh, through Volt per octave. And, and what I would do is just scale it to, let's say, 1%. Actually, 0 0.1 would be even... Right, so it's continuous change of speed. Oh, and hey, I didn't actually know that. You can play backward like this. That's pretty nice. Mind metal guys are just geniuses there. <laughs> Look at this. So yeah, tons of possibilities, and they probably um, notice also in this demo that uh, at some point I was uh, messing up with phase, uh, and this is very nice and handy because with this trick you cannot use the sequencer in CV Playhead. Um, normally you can use it as uh, phase controlled, phase phase driven sequencer. Uh, in this mode, uh, it won't work. So, uh, so you, can, you have to use phase for that, but it works pretty well. All you need to do is stop our sequencer completely. So in this case, 800. Uh, so playheads are stopped, whatever they were. And uh, all we need to do is have an LFO that drives our phase. It's again very useful. Uh, we could have pendulum. Again, this is so nice because you still have <laughs> full control over phase. 180. <laughs> yeah, a lot of possibilities. Um, so let me think. I, I think that's that's all we need to. Uh, that's all you need to know. I think from the from the demo, there's one one little thing I wanted to mention, which is um, changing amount. So it's it's nice if you want to narrow all those shapes to one place. And just remember, in Shape Master, amount is scaled to the first point. So let's say uh, if I do this, it will then go into this point. This, this advice is also very useful if you want to do some kind of ducking or side chaining. Remember that the first point is what determines what will happen to the shape when you reduce it to amount zero. Um, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much. One, once again, thank you, Mind Melt people, wonderful people, for giving us this uh, absolutely amazing toy. I, I'm, I, I still. I'm still not bored of it, so um, I'll, I'm, I'm hoping to make a few more tutorials. And yeah, thanks, guys. See you around.